This is a brief story about how trying your best is a foundation of happiness. In his book Ethics, Aristotle said, as one sunny day does not make summer, one happy moment does not make happiness. Happiness comes from doing your best considering the circumstances. I read that while lying in a hospital bed wondering if I was going to walk again. It made perfect sense to me. I didn't want to live in a world where 10 people are in a race and the only one who is happy is the winner. Using Aristotle's idea, I realized that the nine who lost would be disappointed, sure, but if they had tried their best to win, they wouldn't necessarily be unhappy. The more I thought, the more I believed that if I wanted to be happy, I had to work for it. No one gives you happiness. I had to be ready to do my best. Well, I've had lots of bad moments and lousy circumstances in my life, but I've stayed happy throughout because I was doing my best to help myself. My childhood friends say I'm amazing at how I can remain happy no matter what is happening to me. I smile every time I hear that. Thanks, Aristotle. Happiness is a way of life. You don't get happiness, you build happiness into your life. You earn happiness. Besides Aristotle's advice, a key to consistent happiness is being grateful for the good that happens in your life. Offering thanks to those who helped makes them and you feel better. Showing you care for others, not just yourself, makes you and them feel better. Showing appreciation for what people do encourages positive feelings for everyone. Happiness isn't about money or fame, though I will agree those are fun to have. Happiness is about your relationships with others. Not everyone can win the race, but if you've tried your best and shown you're grateful to your coaches and supporters, you shouldn't be unhappy. Disappointed, sure, angry even, but happy and proud of your effort. I understand how strange this sounds. Happiness isn't a thing, it's a way of life. Now I'd like to share an important Western philosophy. It's the philosophy I try and follow. It's called Stoicism, and it started in ancient Greece. Its focus is on the individual. It says that we are all personally responsible for our own life and that it requires daily rational thinking. Stoicism says wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation equal virtue, and that is the highest good we can work for. Stoics, like me, pay attention to what we can control and what we can't. As you learned last lesson, the only thing you can truly control is yourself, your attitude, your efforts, your actions. I've been telling people, don't worry about things you can't control of for most of my life. Instead, focus on your own actions, thoughts, and attitudes. Stoicism says we should remain untroubled with what we can't control, like what other people do and external events. Stoicism says to live in harmony with nature. I care very much about pollution and climate change, but I don't worry about it. I do my little part, but in truth I really can't do anything meaningful about it. But I am still deeply concerned about the future your generation has to fast. But as I can't do anything about it, I don't worry about it. I believe worrying about things you can't control is one of the worst things you can do. When you worry, your mental energy is spent on negative thoughts about the bad things that can happen. Negative thoughts create more negative thoughts. Every day you wake up, you make a choice between positive and negative thoughts. 
I've had terrible things happen to me, but I continued to think positively and got through them without disturbing my happiness. Did I feel disappointment? Did I feel crushed and beaten? Yes, certainly. I cried more than once. But I was trying my best, and that made me able to keep my positive outlook. Keeping a positive outlook with all the problems facing your generation isn't easy, I agree. But having a negative outlook won't help you prevent them, but will hurt your chance of thinking of ways to protect yourself from them. Life is short, and we should enjoy our time here as much as possible. It's worked for me, and I'm neither amazing nor anything special. Building happiness into your life can work for you, and once it does, your friends can call you amazing. It feels good. That's about it for here. Let's move on.